So this problem says, write the equation in slope-intercept form and determine the slope and y-intercept. Write the y-intercept as an ordered pair. And the equation is 5x minus 4y is equal to negative 20. So the first thing to recognize is that we need to put the formula, we need to put the equation into slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept form is where we solve for y or we write it as y is equal to mx plus b, where the m represents the slope. So that's the number that's multiplied by the x is the slope. And the b, or the constant term, is the y-intercept. Y-intercept. So using that idea, we can start with our equation, 5x minus 4y is equal to negative 20. And since we want to get y by itself, let's move the 5x term to the other side. The way we can move a term to the other side is by using its inverse operation. The 5x is positive, so let's subtract 5x on both sides because 5x minus 5x goes to 0, so that will cancel out. And it leaves us with negative 4y is equal to, and we could put either term first, but because the slope-intercept form has the x term coming first, let's write it first. Let's write it as negative 5x minus 20. So we're getting closer to our form but we still want the y to be completely by itself. We don't want it to be multiplied by the negative 4. So to get rid of that negative 4, since the negative 4 is multiplied by y, we'll use the inverse operation and divide both sides by negative 4. And when we have multiple terms, we can divide every term by that negative 4. So negative 4 divided by negative 4 cancels out and goes to 1, leaves us with just y. We don't have to write the 1 coefficient, so it's just y. And a negative divided by a negative is positive. We'll leave the 5 over 4, because we can't reduce that. We'll just write it as 5 over 4 x. And again, a negative divided by a negative is, again, a positive. 20 divided by 4 is 5. So let's, look, let's compare what we have to our slope-intercept form. Our y is by itself. The x has a number multiplied by it. And then we have a constant term as well. So we have it into our, into our slope-intercept form. So we can write that y is equal to 5 over 4x plus 5. That is our slope-intercept form. And again, the coefficient or the number multiplied by the x is the slope. In our case, 5 over 4 is the number that's multiplied by x. So that is our slope. And the constant term is our y-intercept. So this gives us that 5 is our y-intercept. That means that our line crosses the y-axis at 5, where it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It crosses through at this point right here. So wherever the line crosses the x-axis, to the left of the x-axis is where x's are negative, to the right is where x's are positive, so right on the line is where x is equal to 0. So the x-coordinate is 0, and the y-coordinate is 5. So we'll write the ordered pair as 0, 5. So I hope this step-by-step -step solution was helpful for you. If it was, please like my video. And if you'd like to see more similar videos of step-by-step -step homework solutions, um, sub subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell if you'd like to get notified whenever I make a new video. If you don't want to get notified, then feel free to choose no, um, no notifications on the notification bell. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.